A big thank you to the folks at Volkswagen of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful car. All right, so. First yeah. impressions, here we go. First, first impressions. So if you've never uh, taken a Volkswagen Arteon out for a test drive, welcome to our test drive. Yeah, that was I'm, a fast takeoff there, Nathan. I'm, I'm making Rob lose the uh, stuff off the dashboard. Lose my there. mind. <laughs> that was gone ages ago. I don't think there's anything left there. Uh, Boy, you know, um, so we, we really haven't been in the car to review the inside of it. Um, all we've done is drive out here to do a little zero to 60. Ready, all right, so we can go zero to 60. Here we go. Turbo kicks in finally, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Can you see the, uh, the PSI boost? Um, but I'll tell you what, first of all, the air conditioner works. Yeah. It's really cold in here. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the roominess is really nice. It's got 12-way power seats. Uh, and uh, so plenty of ways to adjust yourself. I am perfectly comfortable. Um, I have not even had time to see, I believe this has, well, I'm not positive. I think it might have, uh, with the right package, you could get um, massaging seats. And this is the SEL, our line, so, but I'm not gonna bother looking for it right now. I'll do that later on the review. Yeah, it's it's but it's comfortable. I mean, lots, lots, of lots of headroom. We got the, uh, oh, the yeah. sunroof open here, and uh, but I mean, I'm not anywhere close to touching. I got my cap on. I got plenty of leg room here. Haven't sat in the back yet, um, but um, looking just at kind of the specs that VW put out, this has got a lot of rear leg room. So I think That's we're right. going to see that when we uh, hop in the back here in the inside review. Um, boy, it's it's. It's quiet. Um, there's some road noise a little bit here and there with uh, the strips that we're driving over. But that's, it, that's more the bad roads than the cars. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, yeah. I, I like I like the soft touch materials that are pretty much everywhere. Um, I like I like the steering wheel. I'm, I, I, I'm not used to that flattened out bottom of the steering wheel. Oh, okay. That's like a sport. But I don't mind it. I mean, I know some people, I think you really like it, but yep, yep. I just, I've never really had, you know, a most, flat of my, bottom. most of my car. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going anywhere with that comment. I'm just marching on the, uh, I was going to say most of my cars don't even have a, uh, steering wheel on them. So, so having a <laughs> they don't have a this steering wheel at all. No, okay. No. It's, it's like it's just a you know push power. You push your foot one way and you go that way. <laughs> the um, we're gonna get it on the highway here in just a minute, and uh, Rob will be able to experience the zero to sixty, you know, forces here. I am gonna oh, turn yeah. on the G force because we're going on a roundabout. So I'm not gonna watch. I'll let Rob watch it. It's I didn't get to it. You did this. We didn't pull up that the right screen for that. Well, that, oh, there it was. Well, too Four, bad. Point two six G's. Okay. Peppy. When that Peppy when that turbo kicks in, takes a, there's a little leg. Uh -huh. But uh, no, I, I like it. It's comfortable. It's it's plenty roomy. You got nice. You know, center arm console. Um, leg room seems good. I like the digital dashboard. That's the same Volkswagen cockpit we saw on the Atlas. Um, does have a really nice 700 watt 12 speaker stereo. A lot of fun. You know, it has the the. The car info information, which we saw earlier on the 60 mile an hour thing, the technology where you can see different things on the infotainment center that are related to your car. Right. That's just kind of neat. Um, the seat is comfortable. Um, I like the bolstered sides. I haven't had 
much time to play with the 12 volt power, so I don't you know know how much it'll squeeze. But you can feel it even without moving any of the buttons. Um, I like the blind the, the the blind spot warning lights. Instead of being inside your mirror glass mirror part, they're actually on the side the the plastic side of the mirror pointing in. So they're a lot bigger, a lot more noticeable. I, I like that. Sorry, a little noise there. I turned the air conditioner on. You had it turned off. It's getting a little stuffy in here. Or maybe it was just you talking stuffy. too much. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, 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 I think this is really nice. Um, it's very comfortable. So we're going to switch uh, drivers here. And Rob, Rob is going to take over and do some driving. Let you know his impressions. As soon as I can find an exit without going <laughs> on the grass. Right. You see how that blind spot flashes at you? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a, another interesting feature where it flashes real quick at you and then becomes steady. Uh, an extra extra warning, I guess. Grab, get your attention. Yep. Yep. And and boy, does it ever. Now, like this time, it just came on solid, didn't flash. Right, because he's there. I guess it's uh, based it on the proximity out. of the person yep. or the car that's there. So it makes sense. Maybe the flashing is be aware someone's near and the steady is... Look at the dashboard. Boom. Look at all the lines are just continually pouring in. Oh, I see that. Okay, we'll try to get that on camera. I, I don't That's, know. It's, it's, it's like you're driving over a road. I don't know if I like that. It's weird. It's like what's supposed to be there? That's my question. It's, I mean, I understand if I had my adaptive cruise yeah, see, on, we're stopped, but that's stopped. here. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting thing. But it's a graphic, but it's kind of... It's interesting really interesting why they felt they needed to do it. Well, I'm gonna let it drive. I'm gonna be nice, <laughs> but only because it's Tuesday, and that I that ends on Wednesday. And I no typically, nice. don't leave you when you get out of the car. <laughs> I try. I try. I try very hard. He, he tries. I, I I do. I I know he's doing this, so I have little ploys to like taking the key with me. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, and he can't he, with the remote start, you know, and I deactivate it. All right, we're gonna let Rob climb in. Well, <laughs> I mean, on this side, right? I like it's uh, the warning on here tells you uh, as you open the door, caution, engine is running. That's kind of cool because, you know... Some, some of the times they're so quiet, especially it, here with the auto right. off. Exactly. You don't know. That's, with that's the, exactly the auto start and stop. It if it's on, yep. you, sometimes you don't know. You that's, seriously have to listen to, wait a minute, is it running? Okay, there's your rear view. Yep, right? and, yep, and you got dynamic uh, dynamic guidelines. Okay. So if that. we swivel, yep. They're there, and then it, it'll leave some down the center, see? Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then how do I get into... So just pull that and then shift down. You're already in drive. You're in... Why is camera on? Mm, because you hit it reverse and then, you know, it's like, it's like in the newer cars. Remember, when you shift to drive, it doesn't always go out of the camp rear, rear camera view until you're going about 10 miles an hour and then it, it clicks off. Everyone has these funky shifters. There it now, goes. There it goes. I, I don't know why it's so hard just to leave shifters alone. <laughs> PRNDL, that's all you hey, need. Listen, I, I kind of like this one because it, it has. come across on the video. Dude. No, it okay, did. We just got a storm alert. We got a storm <laughs> alert. And we, drove through a, we, we drove through a Minnesota brownout. That's where they can have a snow blizzard, but it's just dirt. Um, but, anyways, it, but at least it has to pull down. The other one we drove the other day had a. It was on the side. That bothered me even more. All right. I'm going to shut up now because Rob wants to talk. <laughs> Look, our view And count, as soon as he starts talking, just I just... Up. Yeah, yeah. And that's because you were silent for a moment. Okay, checking on the acceleration here. You know what? At, at first glance, I am... Um, there's a lot of buttons here on the steering wheel that it might be overkill. 
because I can't figure out where to put on the cruise. It's right there. Hot. I did. It's, it's, it's that sets right there. I did hit set, but it's like it's off now. No. Oh, I'm now okay. it's on. Now I'm di dynamic cruise control. Yep. Why is it really slowing down? Oh, it's that... putting me in a safe space. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's 60. Oh, wow. I really did put on the brakes. So 65 out here and he's doing 50. Okay. Now it picks up. <laughs> yeah, now it should pick up and grab that next car up in front of us. Okay. So your cruise is set at 60. You see where the green light is? Yeah. So when your cruise is set on the dash dashboard, um, it's going to uh, show you a little green arrow. Whoops. Um, I can't show you right now, but it's nice. It, it just slides up on the outside oh, of the speedometer. Okay. So you can tell exactly. You also got a digital speedometer down below on the dashboard. Gotcha. Okay. Well, it's it's really precise on the steering. I'm going to get Nathan Woosie yeah. here. We're going to go lazy like, asses. <laughs> but you know, he lets me do this this part every single time. He never takes it. I always no. get to do the steering. It's like a roller coaster handling. ride. But it's really cool. It's very responsive. I like that. And the acceleration is good. However, on initial takeoff, there is quite a bit of turbo lag. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised. So more and more cars have figured out a way to mitigate that. But it's very prevalent here. And we're talking, I think this is, um, well, this is a two liter, uh, 16 valve turbo. Uh, I'll talk, tell you about the specs later, but I think it's 258 horses, two, somewhere there. Yeah. Or, so it's, it's really nice. It does kick in and it does move this vehicle pretty well. Uh, I have the curb weight. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'll give you that a little bit later. Um, but there is quite a bit of turbo lag, and I'm, I'm curious about that. And I felt the same thing, too. Just... My favorite part's coming up. Oh, Lord. Brace, <laughs> brace, brace. Isn't that what pilots say when they're about to crash? Well, I don't, that's not my favorite part to crash. It's breaking. Yes. Well, I'm 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 bracing. Yes, and this I'm not time gonna, I shouldn't have warned you. <laughs> you sh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't want to get into a full panic stop there, but it it did lock up pretty well. Not lock up. It's ABS, but it did haul this from 65 down pretty quickly. And Nathan was bracing, so it wasn't really as much fun as usual. <laughs> My lips went right in my mouth. They're going to stop it so fast. So, but I do, you know, we earlier you uh, you were doing the taking off. And we were showing the gauge and stuff. I want to get back over to our uh, dead end street and do that as well because I want to see how that turbo lag is. Yeah. Because I could feel it. And also there was a shift point. I think it was going into from seventh to eighth gears. And it's an eight-speed automatic transmission or sixth to seventh. It's eight. Okay, but it was a very lazy shift. Yeah, you calmed it. I hadn't really paid any attention. I did notice when you're in manual, um, it shifted on its you own. You don't have to point. shift. It'll do right. it for it itself. Got to 6, which 6,000 is... RPMs at one shift point, and it went on over, and uh, you would think it wouldn't because its red well, line it's... is 6,500, but I guess it's a safety feature. It just went ahead yeah. and shifted for you. And that's okay. No, um, it's not. <laughs> If it's Tiptronic, you should be able to regulate yeah, that speed. That's true. That, but I, you know, I you think most cars want. will do that. It gets to a certain point, it will shift it for you. But they at least wait till you get to the red line. Yeah. That's this true. one shifted 500 RPM before, so. Yeah. That would have been 0 .03 seconds more time. It, it'd be interesting to see what it was because it, and now you're going to get to feel this when we do, when I take off, because I want you to feel that shift because it was quite a bit of, uh, well, number one, turbo lag, you got to feel, so I get yeah. to feel it this time. But you'll get to feel that lazy shift there. Now, did we turn the we turn the air yeah, off Yeah, we'll turn the air so off. So let's do that again. Okay. And here we go. One, two. Okay. Yeah, quite a bit of. Two seconds before the turbo kicks in. And that 60. Yep. That was a lazy shift in there that last shift before 60 so okay well there we go but overall i mean the handling the acceleration is fine you just got to get used to that turbo and uh you know the braking was 
There we go. I just had to get Nathan on that one. Thank you. <laughs> it wouldn't be a ride without having my <laughs> neck ripped off. And the, the back of your brain switching places with the front of your brain. Yes, or, well. I'm, I'm giving you the According to you, of, it doesn't matter which side I use. It's the well, same. I'm giving you the advantage that your brain's that big enough to have a front and a back. Well, well there you go. <laughs> That's a little scramble. Compliment take. <laughs> <laughs>